So welcome to Charterhouse TV. As part of our Ecotech Marine Tour, we're here in um, one of the test environments and we've got a sneak peek and our hands on the new product, the Versa dosing pump. We were down in the Machner show in Orlando recently and we saw this on the stand. So while we're here at Ecotech, it made sense to um, try and get a little bit more information out of these guys. So Jay, can you tell us a bit more about it? Okay, yeah, I mean, no <laughs> no trip to Ecotech would be complete without getting to see something a little something bit new. Something special and new. Something special yeah. and new, right? <laughs> so what we have here is the Versa, and where we're at right now, as you can see, is on uh, one of the test setups where we're doing um, heavy-duty testing of this pump. Yeah. And I think that's one of the most kind of critical things about this is that it is... It can be used as a dosing pump, but it can also be used for doing water changes or auto top off. And it's actually one of the longest running products we've ever had in development. We started this roughly a year after we did the MP40. And uh, now the time is right to complete our equipment system. So no pressure if you've been running tests for this long, you've had an idea, it should be the best one money can buy, it, right? It should be pretty reliable, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, we've we've run this particular pump um, with some differences, obviously, but a uh, couple of things in terms of the physical pump itself is there will be three SKUs. The first being a four pack, which includes a base station and four individual pumps. There will be a pack that includes an individual pump, and then there will also be, and this, this is a prototype, this is the base station, which is included right. in the four pack, but it's modular. Right. So these slot on like this, and there's actually a release tab, which isn't on this particular base station. But what that enables you to do is go to one individual power rail. Right. So the individual pumps come with their own power supply, when you go to a uh, multi-pump setup, you only also need one power So you supply. can buy a pack of four with the base station and do like you would a four channel doser, or you can buy four individually. Maybe you're building them up over time. And once right. you've got four, you can buy the power board and go to one PSU. Exactly, yeah. that's exactly cool. correct. Now, internally, uh, a couple of things about the pump. This is uh, obviously where your tubing runs around the outside but we have three different connector fittings which are pretty easy to change right we have a female push to connect a male push to connect and then also a barb fitting yeah so the individual pumps will ship with the barb fitting right but you can easily switch them out with these which will, will be an, an upgrade, expensive accessory yeah, yeah yeah um so if you prefer to use push to connect as you can see these are all running yeah uh push to connects but that's a nice feature. Yeah, definitely. In terms of the mechanics of the pump, you you have your roller assembly. I mean, you can see it's very, uh, very durable and yeah, robust. Good quality, that's for sure. And we're and running a uh, planetary yeah. drive system. So there's your sun gear and then uh, there's your, your planet gear. So if you imagine a planet orbiting, right. that's where that's that where name, name comes, comes from. from. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what we were going for is to create a pump which is more than just a dosing pump. You can pretty much use it for all sorts of uh, applications in terms of water movement. And uh, I believe we're, we're claiming, <laughs> uh, what are we claiming here? 300 mLs a minute right, in terms so. of maximum dosing down to about half an mL, um, point, actually 0.5 microliters a minute. Right. So, so this makes that, uh, ridiculously versatile pump right it's, it's more than a dosing pump and this Definitely. is and that's what this test facility is proving and that's what you're running this for right yeah that's correct so obviously they're super versatile pumps but taking a look at them while they're here i haven't noticed a screen to control them by or anything like that so i'm assuming that they're going to be app controlled and on your new Mobius platform, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So Mobius for general consumption and the dosing pump should come out at roughly the same time. Uh, the dosing pump specifically 
needs to be controlled using Mobius. It doesn't matter if you have other Ecotech equipment or not, right. just download the Mobius app and you'll be good to go. The benefit of doing that versus having on, on unit or on screen control is you just get this massive versatility out of your smart device OS yes. and Mobius as opposed to having little buttons and having to yeah. reach under the cabinet and yeah. do all of that kind of and thing. And that's so. the long-term goal with Mobius, isn't it? So that you can have one control platform, which is super versatile and can control not only your dosing pump, but your other Ecotech products. Yeah, I mean, this is really the dawning of what we set out to start when, uh, when we got into the uh, aquarium products was to build the system of smart devices and, you know, back when we started, that meant devices that talk to each other. Right. Now we're kind of moving beyond that and devices that actually talk to each other, but also can take external information from your tank and then react accordingly uh, to that. And that's kind of what Mobius, both being much easier, faster, more robust to use, but also bringing in this high level of... Uh, communication and integration between equipment. Yeah. So you guys might be wondering, obviously we've got this bank of pumps in front of us. They look super impressive. They're obviously on test, I assume, but tell me a little bit more about what's going on in front of us. Yeah, so you may have noticed that they're, you know, when you have this many and they're running like this, they're kind of loud. Right, and yeah. that's because what's going on right here is actually stress testing. The, uh, the Versa, the dosing pump is actually one of the longest running development projects we've had. Right. And then we started, I don't know, not, not long after the original MP40, but we're finally at the stage where we feel like it's a good fit for our system. Yeah. So what we've had is a pump, which we designed a long time ago and now is, is getting finished and brought to market. And what we have here is basically pumps that we are running as hard as we can to see if we can break them yeah. because ultimately a dosing pump is such a critical part of your yeah, aquarium absolutely. system. Yeah, yeah, so you should be getting that renowned kind of ecotech background and you guys have really, really got a product that um, you can stand by and say, this is not gonna go wrong um, outside of the normal parameters. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, with our, our whole equipment line, I think, you know, your your customer base and, and our user community knows this is that we really try to bring products to market which are going to stand the test of time and that yeah. you're going to get the life of you know your hobby and, and your money out of in terms of, of usefulness and i think that that's i think the dosing pump this dosing pump in particular or this utility pump really does accomplish that because it's it's just a much more robust pump yeah. for this purpose it than certainly a lot of feels like that when you've got one in hand and you guys eventually will it certainly feels like a real quality bit of kit um if you're interested in the Versa, then obviously keep an eye on Charterhouse Aquatics. Jay, thanks very much for, Always a for giving Ryan. us a sneak peek. Um, and yeah, the Versa, available soon.